Sean posted a comment regarding the new year. Another amazing video that destroys utterly and completely the reliability of Muhammad in this Paul vs. Muhammad video playlist series. But David, it's a whole new year. Are you out of topics and ideas for videos yet? Surely with hundreds of videos, dozens of amazing debates, and nearly 200,000 subscribers, is it time to slow down, or are we in for a new level of epic in 2018? And my answer, of course, was new level of epic. I don't think I can ever run out of ideas for videos because I come up with ideas for videos much faster than I can make videos. I come up with five to ten ideas for videos every day. They keep popping into my head. But even when I'm on a roll posting videos left and right, I can't come close to making videos as fast as I think of them. And people send me video requests, so there will never be a shortage of topics. Apart from that, I've regarded this past eight years of making videos as mere preparation for what's to come. You may have noticed that we've been upgrading our equipment, cameras, computers, software. We've been learning new programs, After Effects, Premiere, etc. This wasn't to make my videos here better. There's not much to look at. We needed to upgrade for some bigger projects. If you've been following this channel since the Dearborn days, you'll remember that when Nabil and I started out, we liked making skits. We wanted to entertain while making our points. In case you haven't seen some of those early skits, I'll include a couple of links in the description box. Nabil and I had fun making videos like that, but we weren't around each other very much. We were in graduate school in different parts of the country. Then Nabil joined RZIM, where he had to be a bit more serious. And the rest of my friends didn't exactly want to be on YouTube talking about Muhammad. But the ideas kept coming. For years they kept coming, and they just simmered in my brain, never actually making it to my channel. Until this year. Now I've got some graphics guys and editors, and I finally found a few funny individuals who want to do skits and who understand the risks of messing with jihadis and who want to do it anyway. So this year I can do some things that I've been planning for a long time, as well as some videos that have been requested. We got together Earlier this month, for our first batch of videos, we recorded a video titled How to Share the Gospel with a Muslim. I've had tons of requests for that. We recorded a parody of Pulpit and Pan, a group that's basically the Westboro Baptist Church of the Internet. And we recorded a commercial for a board game. There's a board game called Quran Challenge. We updated the game to make it a little more interesting and made a commercial for it. Those are all being edited. We're recording again in February and March, focusing mostly on short projects. Then, once we've had plenty of practice, we're turning to some bigger projects, starting in April. In April, we're recording a 30-day series called Islamicize Me. If you recall, back in 2004, there was a documentary called Supersize Me, where Morgan Spurlock ate nothing but fast food for 30 days straight and shared the physical and psychological impact it had on him. Pretty cool way to make a point, right? Now, imagine a few young men who agree to live according to the teachings of Muhammad for 30 days in order to understand the physical and psychological impact it will have on them. But they don't just follow the commands that have become popular, like praying five times a day and taking the Hajj. They follow everything Muhammad said. They dunk diseased flies in their food because Muhammad said to do it. They drink water from a pool that has dead animals floating in it because Muhammad said it's safe. They sleep with prostitutes because Muhammad said it's okay. When they get a stomach ache, they drink camel urine because that's the cure for stomach problems, according to Muhammad. They eventually decide to wage jihad because Muhammad said it's the best thing in the world. 
by the end of the 30 days, they have dozens of diseases from prostitutes and flies and dead donkey water. They've been beaten and shot for trying to persecute Jews and Christians and from waging jihad. And we all get to see the impact of really following all of Muhammad's teachings. Turns out it's much, much worse for you than eating McDonald's for a month. And actually seeing the impact in mockumentary fashion will make it stick in people's minds much more than me simply putting the sources on the screen. That's scheduled for April. In May, we're doing the epic rap battle of history that epic rap battles of history won't touch, even though they say that their viewers decide who's next and their viewers have been requesting a Jesus versus Muhammad rap battle for years. Why won't they do it? They're justifiably terrified of getting their heads chopped off. But that's where we come in. Now, if Epic Rap Battles of History decides to do Jesus versus Muhammad before May, I'll just let them do it. If not, I have to warn you, I've got possibly the best Christian diss rapper of all time ready to play Jesus. So if we end up doing this and Muhammad gets destroyed, it's kind of Epic Rap Battles of History's fault for not doing it first. So blame them, jihadis. <laughs> After that, We've got an old school, campy, Adam West, Batman style superhero show where Captain Freedom and Liberty Boy square off with their nemeses, General Sharia and Major Takiya, who direct the organization LIAR, which stands for the League on Islamic American Relations. And I believe I've got enough episodes of that series in my head to keep it going forever. All of this will be in addition to my regularly scheduled videos. So that's what's coming out in the first half of 2018, whether it meets Sean's criteria of a new level of epic, only he can say. In the meantime, we're going to be posting our videos on multiple channels because multiple channels are collaborating on projects. At first, we'll be posting most of the videos on my channel because I've got the most subscribers, but you don't want to miss anything. So be sure to subscribe to the channels of my friends, Vocab Malone and John McRae. If you don't know them, you'll be getting a proper introduction very soon. If you'd like to help fund some of these projects, you can become a patron by clicking the button and signing up. Or if you'd like to make a tax deductible contribution, you can do that through PayPal on my website. The link is in the description box. Now, back to work. New Zucker Nike video coming out tomorrow.